The beautiful northern province of Chiang Mai is known for some of the most ethical wildlife experiences and most beautiful landscapes in the entire country and so much more. We ventured north of the city to the Changdao district to see what it's all about. But the journey came with some real challenges. This tire is completely flat. Now join us as we hit the road and see if we made it through unscathed. Guys, we had to take a quick stop, pull over, because we found this amazing, beautiful river right after we turned off of the major freeway and highway there. And the real gem is in the distance. We didn't even notice until we got off the bikes, but there's some elephants just going for their afternoon walk right down here by the river. Unbelievable. Yeah, they're just like chilling, and they look like happy elephants. They're being taken care of. They're just like paddling through the water, drinking, mm -hmm. and there's birds like skimming across the river. And we're like in the like the mountains, mountains. of Northern yeah, Thailand. Sorry, that it's was the word. It's taken her words <laughs> away. <laughs> but yeah, you can see the mountains in the distance. We're just about to pull into those. But we had to pull over before it gets into two windy roads to just kind of take a breath, take a quick look. Now we're off to the sticky waterfalls. Let's go. Something feels wrong with my bike. This tire is completely flat. Oh no, you got a puncture? Holy oh, crap. Holy crap. Oh, in there? Oh my god. Oh my god. So he says in there. Oh no. Okay. We knew this was bound to happen. I know. So this nice guy just pulled up and said, take a left and go into there. We're able to get back on the road sooner than later. Yeah. Uh, tire. Uh, tire. No, no, no. No, no. Okay. Come, come, Very nice people. Right away trying to help out everybody. So. We are walking the bike. Looks like there's a bike shop, so hopefully they can get it fixed quick and easy. The guys who own the bike are okay with us getting it fixed here. They're gonna have to be. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna have to be. All right. All right. We have stopped in this, well, we were kind of forced to stop in this beautiful little quaint northern town. We luckily, stopped beside this great family they have a beautiful little restaurant here beautiful little dogs yes mm. and yeah gorgeous dogs they're actually helping us mm. oh two kilometers yeah have okay. machine for making okay my uncle him don't have a machine for making okay, okay. you have time i have a be up for you go out machine shop we need to go to the yeah. machine shop. Yeah, I have talked my husband, him eat. No okay. 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 Yeah. Come 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 come. Thank hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. thank hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like something we've heard from other vloggers and travelers to the area is just how nice Thai people are. Yeah. We've definitely experienced that through our couple months here, mm -hmm. but nothing like today. I mean, she asked us in and she's like, come, come sit, 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 you know, come and eat. So we're sitting down and we're about to have our lunch, even though I packed lunch, but that's okay. Well, we'll... I mean, we'll take yes. any excuse to have some good Thai food. And I felt like it was almost a little rude that we didn't, you know what I mean? Like she kind of wants us to come in. She welcomed in. us in and yeah. we're helping us out. We're sitting here actually waiting for her son who's out with like the larger family vehicle. Mm -hmm. And then that way we can transport the bike to the shop that is just a couple kilometers away, but I, it's like it went from bad to worse. It felt a little bit wobbly and then all of a sudden it just went like Whoa, yeah. and I had to pull over so I Thankfully just, nothing happened, but they were really nice to help us out. And oh. So we're just kind of waiting for her son to get back. Yeah, I hope though We can get the puncture fixed properly and we don't have to buy a new tire. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I was thinking is that we might have to buy a tire yeah, no, hopefully not. Hopefully not. <laughs> so I have the delicious coconut curry, well, coconut soup, but I always get it with rice. Mm, it's got those nice chunks mm. of mushrooms in it. That's so good, China. Mm. Nice and hearty. It is. Delicious. Yes. Yum. Mm. 
Mm. Oh, that looks like a good one. Ooh. And it's a chunk of chicken. That looks they great. They know me well. I got the pad caprao, spicy, so many chilies mm. in there. Oh my gosh. That's good. Look at the amount of chilies. Oh my gosh. And they must have known it was me because I got two fried eggs. I, or maybe I know him and I ordered two fried okay. eggs. Okay, I'll give just a credit where credit is due. Let's eat. Alright. So he is our guy. Now I just gotta help him load up the bike onto the truck. He's gonna help strap it down and take us over there and then hopefully it doesn't take too long to get the bike the tire fixed. We shall see. Just cruising down. Jess is just behind us on the bike. Hopefully they can fix the tire. Good to go. It's nice of him too. He's gonna fill up Jess's bike with a little bit of air as well for us. And then we're back on the road with enough time to still go check out the waterfalls. Let's do it. Oh, locker, 30 baht. That's definitely nice because we've got a couple valuable things. We noticed some people just strap their stuff to their bikes in the parking lot, but we would much rather have a, a locker safe and sound. Now we're headed to the waterfall. <gasps> oh, I'm excited. I'm hot too. Yeah, it is smoking hot today for sure. There is just a bunch of people, as you can see, walking past us right now. So it's definitely not your hidden gem as it used to be. Ow, it's kind of hurting my bum. Well, I think at this point you can kind of stand up a bit, Rip. Okay. Oh, my bum. Oh, there's more over here too. Oh my god. This is crazy. It's really nice after like a hot day in the bikes, screwing around with that fire. It's all turned out all right. <laughs> My He's anxiety's stay. a little high though. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're going down. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, this is like, I've never seen anything like this. Yeah, it's like, it's really hard to trust at first. You feel so nervous. So nervous. And like, I've had some reconstructive knee surgeries, so I get weary on slippery things, but I'm feeling pretty comfortable here. This is scary, this one. Oh my God, it's so scary. It's steeper than it might look on camera for sure. Oh, cow. <laughs> in like gummy sticky but sticky is in like sandpaper sticky uh, ooh, that's weird. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so nice back on the road we checked out the sticky waterfalls we had a great time now we're heading out let's go <laughs> let's go Let's go. Look at us. Look at us. Who would have thought? Yeah, who would have thought in Mexico would be doing this? Maybe you missed the whole thing. It's who would have thought and then you're like, not me. Oh, I'm terrible. <laughs> She's bad at the memes. Who would have thought? Not me. Better. And there's Chiang Dao, the third largest mountain in the country. We have arrived. We are off the beaten path to say the least. Oh my gosh. We have arrived to chill Chiang Dao. Oh, and look at this friendly greeting. Look at this guy coming to say hi. 
Hi, buddy. We have made it to our hotel. It is called the Chil Changdo, and it is unbelievable yeah it is so cool <laughs> we've got this nice big open space we've got this place to ourselves it's kind it's of like a little, like a little hut. hut cabin on the swampy rice paddy <laughs> he's not the wording's not very good <laughs> i'm doing a horrible job at making this sound good but it is actually beautiful maybe we start by just showing them around on the inside let's do it let's go check it out all right let's start with outside so right here you've got like the netting where you can sit You've also got the hammock where you can swing and just chill. Right behind us is like epic mountains and like rice fields and there's a huge Buddha statue right behind us. Here we've got like these beautiful big windows. Let's go inside. Okay, so this hut is not fully enclosed. So like there's the open space above open the walls. Open spaces. Right below us is water. You can see right through the crack. And the doors are all open. So of course you have the mosquito net. We will 100% be using that. We'll be using that. My first time ever using a mosquito net. Seems like there's already a couple mosquitoes in the net. Part of me is like, do we open the net now to like make sure like you're enclosed? I've we'll never used one. YouTube. Maybe go yeah, Google it. All right, so we got our fan because of course there is no air comb because it's not enclosed. Like. Yeah, like it's all outside. We are in like a traditional hut here. We've got our sink. Be careful, because when I went in there, I heard something moving. Why would you say that? <laughs> <laughs> and then we have our bathroom, which you can <laughs> <laughs> But this too is open, so as much as I was joking, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if there's some creepy crawlers up in here. Hey, we're living it like it really should be up here in the north part of Thailand. Absolutely amazing, beautiful drive to get through here. Oh, the, the mountains. Mountains and the windy roads. Oh my God, it was absolutely amazing. We had a great time at the waterfalls. Thankfully, someone fixed the bike tire and we're gonna have to see if we can get the money back for that one. Yeah. Had a bit of a slip as well when we took a stop to get some shots while we were driving through the mountains there i unfortunately slipped a little bit on the gravel broke the brake handle on my bike fuck It's been a bit of a bumpy ride, but we made it here safe and sound. I think generally it was smooth sailing, but yes, we did yeah. have a little couple bumps in the day, but hey, we conquered. That's travel, that's travel. We're you gotta here. take it with a grain of salt and just keep on pumping. If we had given up, we would have missed out on the waterfall. Yeah. If we had given up after putting the bike down, we would have missed out on this beautiful place. So we can't wait to just hang out, relax here for the evening. And then tomorrow on the way back, we are hitting up that elfie cafe so don't go anywhere we're going there shortly so after taking a few minutes to kind of hang out and relax a couple of mishaps with the bikes <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely an adventure we definitely needed to sit down and like relax for a bit yeah but now we're just headed for dinner look at this cool little catch and set up wow what a view for dinner Dinner was great after a long day of riding. It was an adventurous day. And that's just the beginning of the adventure. We've got some fun things planned for tomorrow. Elephants, you do not want to go anywhere. <laughs> we'll see you in the morning. Guys, we made it through the night. <laughs> <laughs> Barely. Bit of an uncomfortable sleep, but a beautiful place to wake up in the morning, that's for sure. Yeah, the view, wow. The view is amazing. Oh look, there's even a hole right here. Yeah, so they've got this like bamboo walkway here all throughout this hotel complex and there's some pretty bouncy flexible parts for sure like just said there's a hole back there it's super dry and like it looks like it's just gonna like snap yeah yeah exactly but it hasn't done yet it hasn't done yet so we should be okay heading to breakfast see what they got cooking for us
Ooh. Herbal, herbal tea. Herbal tea, too. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. We've got a beautiful breakfast here. Absolutely gorgeous breakfast with fresh herbal tea as well. Mmm. That's so good. It kind of reminds me of like camel, camel, chamomile tea. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Doesn't chamomile put you to sleep? This doesn't get us all tired. Either. No. Well, it does, but hopefully not. Hopefully not. It kind of tastes minty to me. It tastes good. Mm, mint. Good minty. It's one thing here in Thailand that we've noticed is mm -hmm. how popular hot dogs are. It, they'll say sausage, but it's always hot. Always hot dog. We even ordered a pizza that was an all meat pizza that supposedly <laughs> came with Italian sausage and it was chunks of hot dog. And then, <laughs> so it's always like boiled too, like boiled hot dogs, and it's like, oh, you know what I mean? Like gross. I mean, yeah. But this no one, disrespect if that's your thing. This one is not bad at all. She's grilled it, she's put spices on it. And there's actually a bit of flavor to it. And yeah. I gotta say, she's done a fabulous job with this breakfast. Mm. We're packed up. Ready to go, hit the road again. Thankfully, the woman that runs this place, her and her brother know of a nice bike shop. They were able to not just recommend us, but he's gonna like lead the way and take us there. So we don't wanna leave him waiting. We're gonna get jump on the bikes and get going and hit the road. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get this bike fixed without too much hassle. Let's go check it out. What's that? So please call me yeah, please, please, please. We got a flat tire yesterday, so we got a new tube, and that was 150. Mm -hmm. And then now we've gotten a new brake handle for 190, so all together that's 340, which is about 13, 14 bucks. You could never get this in one car. They would charge you more in the waiting room for the coffee in North America. Yeah. Back on the road again, fully functioning brakes. Fully functioning bike, ready to hit the highway and see them elephants. Let's go. Look at that. Just such endless beautiful views. They are endless. Protected by a highly trained sound. <laughs> That's okay because we like the pups. Yeah, we do. But yeah, we've been excited for this place for a little while now, actually. Like we said earlier, we have been wanting to have a more ethically responsible elephant mm -hmm. excursion or experience encounter. We've heard nothing but good things about this place, and it's basically they're just in their natural habitat, and you just kind of respectfully come hang out with them there so yeah and they come when they want so hopefully we get to see them there's no saying that we will actually see them today yeah. because they come when they want and they do their own thing so yeah let's see what happens let's see oh, yeah. so oh, look at all the oh there's so many dash oh look at the <laughs> puppies hi guys oh my god hi 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 puppies <laughs> Hi! <laughs> this is in dog heaven! Dogs. Look at this little fat pump. Hi, baby little porky! <gasps> Look at all the dogs! Ooh, I like the big dogs! Hey, what's up, buddy? <laughs> he's right up to my hip. Which isn't difficult, but he's a big guy. Oh my gosh! I think we are in luck, Jess! There's elephants down by Can the river. See them? They're just over here. Oh my gosh, so the thing is, is when you come here, they actually sell bunches of bananas so you can feed them down by the watering spot. I love this place, I'm so excited. Look at them. No chains. No chains. No chains. riding. Sadie Oh. Oh, hello, buddy. <laughs> hey. Hey, guys. Oh, hi, nice. say hello. Hi. Hi. We'll come back with nibbles in a minute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hi, buddy. Oh, they got rough hairs, hey? Wow. Mm, and it's like he took the smell off us and shared it. Oh. Be careful. 
They can hurt you. Oh, of course, and they can grab you with this thing. Can we touch it? Yeah, you can touch it. Oh, he's <laughs> <laughs> so weird. These long snouts. Oh, my God. We're going to grab some. Yeah. yeah, we will. Yeah. We just wanted to come say hello. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Cool. Whoa! All right, we're gonna go eat quick and then we'll come back. We got food for everybody today, us and them. And it's like we said, we had actually stopped at the bridge over there. Earlier in the video, we got drone shots of them and they were just free to roam yeah. all through the river. They were washing stuff. and they were just chilling in the water. We were like, oh, there's elephants. We didn't even know that that's the place we were coming to. Definitely a must stop if you're coming by this area. Yeah, definitely. It's just before you get to the Pai and Parau turnoff. It's actually the same turnoff we took right after coming across the bridge. If you're looking for a bite to eat, I don't think there's a better place to stop. It's pretty really cheap food too. Yeah, not, I haven't tasted the food yet, but I specifically say that just for the environment, the experience. Nothing like lunch with a bunch of pups and some elephants down by the river. So awesome. Cannot get any better. Yeah. All right, so real quick before we go down to feed the elephants, she was just telling us that one of the elephants they used to take care of unfortunately passed away a few years ago. But because of the good care that they give them here, she actually lived to 80 years old, which is, from what she was saying, 10 years older than the typical elephant would live in this region of the world. So. You would think a bond too. You would think that they would have such a bond to oh, you. Oh yeah, and like you to them. Like mm -hmm. I've. My family's had a couple of golden retriever dogs in our family when I was growing up and it's like, you spend 15 years or so with them on average, imagine five times that. That's like quite the bond for sure. Part of the family, you know? Just need a real big house. <laughs> or a real big river would be even better than a house. That's what they deserve. Lunch is done. Time for the elephants to have lunch. Let's oh do. my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. There you go, guys. There you go. Oh, yeah. oh my god. Hey, buddy. Oh my gosh. There oh, you go. he's hungry. You, you gotta go to her. You gotta go to her. There you oh, go. <laughs> you. Oh my gosh. One second, don't be too greedy. Okay, ready? Go. <laughs> Look how it wraps around. Wow. Yeah, they just come up and take it. Ooh. No, that's, he's already had that. Well, no, I've already teased him with it. She's like, what's up with this? Yeah, she's like, where's mine? We'll do them three at a time. Ooh, here you go, sweetie. Here it is. <laughs> and it looks like they're confined to this space, but they're free to like roam into the river and stuff. They just like to hang out here. I think this is just their feeding area. So yeah, I think this is where they kind of live. <laughs> wow. Awesome. Bye, Pooch. Bye, Pooches. <sighs> this is what I live for. I live for these moments. Yeah. If you haven't been watching us for a while, a little bit of backstory. We kind of sold everything, decided to just live the life of full time consistent traveling. And whenever we have days like today, because one of the hardest things for us to sell, at least in Jess's mind, was our couch, because it was like the first big purchase that we had as a couple. And so when we have days like today, I always turn to her and I ask, So do you miss the couch? <laughs> and it's always a no. It's always a big fat no. We do not miss our couch today nor do we miss our cushions or our bed. <laughs> Even though we slept in a really rock hard bed above a swamp tonight. <laughs>